we have just received this fc pro live card and i know that's a lot to say i don't know what the name is of this promo but it's based on how the actual pros perform in the fc pro open i think that's what it's called but anyway who cares about that this lozano got released for a little over 100k he actually is about 124k that has a lot to do with the prices of the informs that are literally like over 40,000 coins or at least around there right now. But before we get any farther, speaking of coins, if you need some coins, make sure you check out footcoinshop.net. There's a link down below. 5% off when you use code SUS when you sign up and at checkout, 5% each. Best place to get coins and it supports the channel. But he's coming in at a high, low work rate. Beautiful for a winger. Four-star skill move, three-star weak foot. I think everyone knows Lozano, right? You've seen Lozano. He always gets a promo card every single year. Some years he's insanely broken because of his pace. Some years he's kind of mid. I would imagine this year he probably feels pretty good because his dribbling is always nice. Speaking of dribbling, I guess we might as well check that out. Look at that dribbling. 94 agility, 87 balance, 86 reactions. He looks very good. His composure is always kind of low. I actually think 80 composure for Lozano is more than normal. I'm not for sure. I can't remember fully past FIFA's, but I feel like that's a little bit higher than he normally does have. So maybe he'll feel better. 90 stamina on the wing. He can play the whole game. 85 jumping is something I'm actually very surprised about. He's only 5'9", so it's not going to matter much. But maybe he can win some headers against the wingbacks. Who knows? For play styles, he doesn't have any play style plus. I kind of wish they would have added one to him for that. Imagine 95 pace down the wing with a whipped pass plus. He does have the basic one. But again, you guys know I'm a big advocate of I don't really think the basic ones do too much. Mainly, the only time I feel the basic ones is on defenders. On attackers, like if they have Travella or Finesse, I don't really notice a difference. I'm actually very surprised, though. I wish he had the whip pass, but I'm very surprised he does not have ball control or the, um, what's the other one? It's rapid, I think, or something like that, right? Oh, he does have rapid. So he does have that one. I meant technical is what I said. But rapid plus, how does Lozano not have that? He's always one of the fastest cards in the game every single year. He can only play a couple positions, right wing and right mid, and he does play in the ear divisi now. So a little bit harder to link. But if you don't know... For some reason, I feel like people don't really understand that icons give one chemistry point to every single league in the game. One point, not like a whole chemistry point, like one little tally. So three icons, everyone's on one chem no matter what, as long as they're in position. But quickly, if you are a rank one elite div player, anything like that, this review is not targeted at you. You might want to watch someone that's a little better at the game. This is more for the average players between like six and 14 wins like myself. But other than that, this is the team we're rocking. Lozano off the right. I'm going to play a 4-3-2-1 in game. And I'm going to force the ball to him every single time I touch it in the first game. Because that's just how we practice, right? That's how we test out these cards. Actually, hold up quickly before I forget. I looked at this. I, just, I was trying to decide between a Hawk and a Deadeye. I think since he is playing off the wing and not central, I'm going to put a Deadeye just to boost his passing a little bit. 95 pace is enough for me. Here we go. Game one. Let's see who we got. Like I said, this game, we forced the ball to Lozano every time we touch it. I like he's playing with like a storyline player. Aspas. Why do I always seem to get so many stinky teams when we're playing these reviews? That's good, though. It's always good to get the stinky team the first game. That way I can really, I guess, feel out Lozano, see what happens. Probably because I was not even in my custom tactics. We're almost 10 minutes in the game, and I'm still on basic. That's why this review is targeted at the average player. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no. And that right there is just... I kind of wish he would have gritted on me. I actually wish he would have just hit a gritty on me. Seriously, after I called this team trash. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of sauce. Of course, Davies is there. Man, I'm just trying to force it to him right there. Can this guy give me... Doesn't he know we're trying to record a review just to see how he feels on his shooting and stuff? A little bit of a Travella from Lozano. Straight at the keeper, but at least we got a shot off. This Ospos, man. I'm telling you. My actual kryptonite in this game is Ospos. He scores everything. Him and Griezmann, they never miss against me. Lozano with 72 free kicks. You think he's about the action or no? Do you think Lozano is about the screech here? Let's find out. Not very much juice on that ball. <laughs> Delete that. Delete that, okay? Act like you never even saw that free kick. Here you go, a little bit of sauce. He's going to shoot near post. I read timed it because I'm absolutely a freaking bozo. He does have the basic whipped pass out. Let's see how it feels. I mean, that was a... Cr yo, yo. Okay, maybe I'm wrong about those basic play styles. That was an insane cross. Lozano could be in right here. Let's see. He's in a foot race. He's in a foot race. Ball roll. It's just a game. I, like, I want to say that his dribbling feels bad right there, but it doesn't. It's just a gameplay, man. During the day, 
at least on the servers I play on, delay is just absurd. I, it's so hard to play during the day. That's why I play at night. Even though the better players play at night, it's just so brutal trying to play with stuff like this with how bad it is to turn. I mean, looking at the stats in the first half, I'm actually I'm actually destroying this guy, respectfully. I am. I actually thought I was being outplayed, but looking at the stats, more possession, more shots, six times as much expected goals, better passing. I guess maybe I'm just taking the wrong shots because obviously we are making Lozano do all the work. If I would square it, I guess I'd probably be up on this guy, but he's only got two shots, two goals, really, dude. This is a demonstration of skill issue. Now, don't ask me how I get 14 wins. All luck. Plays a beautiful through ball to Pirlo, though. Beautiful through ball. Pirlo gets blocked. Nice pass to Sun. I mean, that's money. His passing feels very good. I mean, these are almost all off his weak foot as well. For some reason, it feels like he really wants to just send the ball off his weak foot rather than his right. See? Beautiful play. I want to I shoot. Here we go. Across goal. Lozano. That's money. That felt nice. I guess maybe when you take a player and you're reviewing them and you actually shoot off the correct foot, maybe they'll actually be able to bag goals. You know, I never thought that would actually be a thing. If you shoot off their strong foot, they might actually score. There's your answer. I all started with Lozano right there. Let's see. He's moving up the pitch. Hit some step overs right here, maybe. Gets the ball back. Insane penalty. He wins the penalty. He wins the penalty. I mean, that had to be a pen, right? I mean, I gotta let him take it. I don't think he has very good pens. 83. Hey, that's not bad. I'm going top right. I'm going top right. Yeah, you thought. See? What if you were the guy I was playing right there and you're listening to what I was saying? Top left, buddy, all day. That's free. I'm in your head just like I'm in this guy's head. He knew I was going to go top right even though he stayed middle. <laughs> hey, GG's. Big comeback in the second half. we got to see who the man of the match is real quick. I would assume it's probably Lozano. Lozano with a 10.0. Two assists, two goals. And I would say in that first game, the first half, man, his dribbling felt a little bit weird. His passing was great, and his shooting was way off. But in the second half, we opened up a little bit. We actually managed to get him some decent chances on goal. He scored. He made some great passes as well. And of course, he feels fast as heck. But we're going to get to game two. And in game two, we take it serious. We're not forcing to Lozano. We're playing normal. Game number two. Of course, in game number two, we are looking for a rage quit. Um... I guess we're not going to know what his team is. Interesting situation there. I see Harry Kane. Back to Sun. Virgil is there. Lozano kind of intercepts it. Blocks it a little bit. Back to Lozano. Lozano near post. Green time. Come on. This got to be a rage quit. I can feel it. Lozano makes a crazy tackle. What in the world? He's in. Ball rolls away from Virgil. But of course, Virgil van Dijk is going to actually get there. We expect that. Sun. Virgil misses. He's got some backup. That's a pen. That's a pen. Last, got, last time I did not Panenka. This time I am definitely hitting a nasty Panenka. Here we go. Come on. Dive, 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 dive. Huge. Hold that, buddy. Sometimes it's too easy. One more goal, and I think we might actually get our rage quit that we want so bad. I'm going to gritty next goal, too, because I have pure passion. Here. Lozano dribbling. Gives it to Sun. That's got to be a goal. That's got to be a rage quit. Come on. Come on, man. I know you want to rage quit. Come on, man. I know you want to. Looks like he's going to keep playing. 3-0. 27th minute. We're still going. That might be a goal. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. What a strike. Sometimes you just got to give credit where credit's due. At halftime, I'm not going to lie. I am getting outplayed. He has way more shots than me, more possession. He's looking a lot better than me. My pass accuracy is terrible. Got to lock it in if we want to rage quit, for real. Ter Stegen is probably going to be man of the match. I keep pulling him out. Like, I keep manually pulling him out of the net, but... This guy just doesn't know how to chip, and he doesn't know how to ball roll around the keeper, apparently. He would probably have six goals right now. If this guy knew how to chip or ball. Especially ball rolling around the keeper. He could just he could literally go right around him. Oh. Ter Sagan, man. Did I just say Ter Sagan, man, the match? I meant Bozo of the match. And another goal. From 3-0 up to 3-all. And he's hitting celebrations on me. I'm going to have to really lock in here. No, this guy's actually came back. From 3-0 down to 4-3 up. For real. Lozano gets the ball. To Grimaldo. To Stoich. Stoich with the Narsi dribbling. Grimaldo wins the ball back again. Back to Stoich. Travella. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm locked in. I'm winning this game. I feel it. What? 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 There's no way I just conceded that. There's no way. Blanc Interstegen just got owned. Lozano makes a run outside. 
We're functioning on borrowed time here. Cancelo sends one in. It is intercepted. Lozano's there, though. Lozano gets the ball back. I can you imagine him clutching up, clutching up in his review? Pedro's there. Pedro's trying to hit it. Can't get the shot off for some reason. What in the world? Absolutely sold. I deserve to lose that game. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I deserve to lose this game. But that was that was lame AF at the end. We were outplayed. Lozano did get man of the match. I mean, he did play well. Out of all the players, he definitely was the best player in our squad. Now, even though those games did not really go according to plan, I would say Lozano played well. Obviously, the first game, his stats are a little bit biased, maybe, because, you know, I did force it to him so much. The second game, he was about the only bright spot in our whole team. Ter Stegen was very good in the first half. I don't even know if anyone else even played remotely well in the second half. He was probably the only bright spot. I do think this is a must-complete SBC. He's 130K, but with that being said, he's not actually that much. If you have one single inform in your club to help you out with one of the SBCs, I mean, you'll be fine. That'll take down the price by so much. And then he's probably like, what, 80 or 90K? I think he's worth doing even just as a super sub to have on your team. He's a little bit hard to link. It's not that difficult if you have a couple icons from Icon, SBCs, or packs. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like and have a good one.